Uh, this is for parents in the house. If you are a father or a mother, some of you might even know this, but I just feel I should bring this to your attention so that you understand what is going on. Do you know that your kids that you send to school now, especially in the Western world, that what is going on in the school system now is that the teachers, some of these teachers, take out the learning period that children are meant to use to learn, which is why you send them there, to teach them how they can choose if it's a girl, to be a boy if you want to, and if you're a boy, to be a girl. They now intentionally teach them that they can change gender if they want. Now, this is not, oh, this girl is acting like a guy, or this guy is acting like it. No, this is now them bringing it, these teachers bringing it to the kids, because a little baby now came back home the other day and is now asking the mother am I a girl is it true I can be a boy they don't even end there they go as far as saying in case you don't feel like any of this in case you don't feel like a boy or a girl you can choose to be nothing and they put that category as non-binary so you can be nothing and it's a thing. Even in some forms now, you see male, female, non-binary. Right? And I see some parents say, oh no, my son is in a good school. Or my daughter is going to the best school. But what you don't know as a parent is that agents of darkness, demonic people, most of them are intentionally sent there to disciple your kids are there discipling you. Why am I making this video? Parents need to pay more attention to not just what their kids learn in school, but also the very first community a child meets on earth is the family. So you don't just say, I have money, I'll send my kids to the best school. No, it goes beyond that now. The school you used to know is not what it is again, no. The school system have completely changed. Do you know, and I speak first hand on this particular one the majority of the schools that attempt big schools even in nigeria are the most corrupt the most decayed set of system the way they say oh they have access to internet or they have children because their parents buy them phones they have internet on their phone so they watch the things that normally they won't watch at home and they gather together as friends and they are watching and you paid millions for your child my son is in a good school they might be learning english well but morally they are getting decayed day by day if this continues and parents don't pay close attention to their children and what their children are doing you're going to have a full lost generation because you see training is not just the head you train three things there is the hand which is training of the hand skill there is training of the head which is intellect where we send our kids there is one which these guys are now focusing on training of the heart character that is the one they are trying to destroy if they can reach the character of a child, the heart, the soul of a child, that child can be a PhD holder, a professor that is a demon. On a mission to disciple your kids, and if you don't look into what is going on in the life of your children, you're going to lose them. You spend all these millions thinking that your child, will, he might be intelligent, but you've raised another antichrist that is going to put pollution in the society. All right, so if you want the full version of that video, just go to his Instagram page, William Suchemba. Now, according to a publication by Julie Captain, parents in the U.S. are increasingly raising children outside traditional gender norms, allowing boys and girls to play with the same toys and wear the same clothes. Though experts say this is happening mostly in progressives, um, well-to-do enclaves, but what makes... Um, this gender open style of parenting stand out and even controversial in some circles is that the parents do not reveal the sex of their children to anyone. 
even the children who are aware of their own body parts and how they may differ from others are not taught to associate those body parts with being a boy or a girl. Now, if no one knows a child's sex, these parents um, theorize the child can't be um, pigeonholed into gender stereotypes. Now, this type of parenting received widespread attention in tw um, 2011 when a Toronto couple announced that they were raising their child, Storm, without gender designation, sparking a media frenzy. Now, as a parent, who was raised in a different time and having to adopt or adapt to the ever-changing world, cases like this poses the question, are we raising right, a confused or a free generation? Now, please, let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 You can also tweet at us at WayShowAfrica1 with the hashtag WayShow. All right, so this conversation is, I don't even know where to start from. It's a confusing one myself. I am confused today because um, when I was growing up, <laughs> you grow up if you have things in front of your chest and you had, uh, you know, a certain kind of um, genital, you are described as a particular kind of sex, right? But now, um, the world has, like, is a complete 360 turn from where we knew our world to be. And, you know, people would keep talking about this thing only happens in the Western world. This thing only happens in the Western world. It takes you two minutes to go on TikTok, right, and see what is happening today. You don't understand that this thing is not in the Western world because technology, globalization, has brought everything to our doorsteps. So it's no longer an African thing. It's no longer a Western world thing. It is together with us, is living in our world today. Where you see boys, you know, trying to change their gender, where you see people saying they are confused, where you see people telling you that they do not identify with any gender, you know, they are non-binaries and all of that. So I don't know. So there is an argument where they say, oh, there has to be freedom. Give people their rights, give them to, let them be free to express how they, however they want to express their sexuality. There's another part that says, Confusion, because a boy has a penis, you know, a girl has, you know, a vagina. That is the structure of what we know. So when you raise a child and the child cannot identify with their sexuality based on the genitals and whatever they're having, it, on that other hand, is that not setting up that child for a life of perpetual confusion? So that is why, for me, it's a bit troubling because whenever you bring this conversation out in the open, it is always a tax. But I want to understand it. Where are we today? Are we really, you know, raising children to express that freedom or are we raising children to just be a bunch of confused people? Even from the Bible times, the, I mean, talking about Sodom and Gomorrah, we knew that these things that led to alternative lifestyles existed. Because at times when I try to think of the fact that Africans were not brought up that way to be sexually fluid and open with what their gender is and be changing mind from one to the other, apparently these things existed. We just didn't know about it. We have grandparents that two mothers are staying together at, at the grandparents' age. Old. But it just wasn't so prominent because it wasn't acceptable. Like, um, and there was no social media. Social media aside, like Elsie had said earlier on that, when she did a bit of research, she found out that it was very prominent in Africa from decades ago, maybe even over a century ago. So there's nothing new under the sun, is what we want to say. But you know that saying that says, as for me and my house, mm. I will serve the Lord. Mm -hmm. Choose what you will do. But even in sending kids into public schools, into public arenas, you cannot decide that you would start training a child about a gender that's you just started developing maybe 30 years ago, or this uh, fluid mentality that you started, as uh, Dave Chappelle will describe them, the alphabet people. When you start saying, oh, I don't want to be known as, like the lady called Demi De Lovato. Demi and I'm, uh, no, Demi, Demi Lovato. Lovato. Demi Lovato yeah. That was saying that, oh, she had said at first she didn't yes. want any pronouns to let her know what gender she was. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden now she says uh, she wants to identify with she and her, but she's still not... A female. That's a confusion. Stop confusing us. Mm. Hey, hey, keep it to yourself. As far as I'm concerned, keep it to yourself. But it's very unfair to have a child 
that you know biology has taught us from the very onset of time. That when you come with a penis, you're a guy, a male. When you come with a vagina, you're a female. If you come and it's non-descriptive, you might be a hermaphrodite. There's even a location for that. Mm. Then you start training a child in the state of confusion. And then you start wondering why they're going astray. Forgive me, I'm a Christian and my belief system does not support you making those choices. Because they say God makes no mistakes. Mm. Let me stop at that point for now. Absolutely. Let me come to you, Elsie, because there was something he pointed out in the video about the intentionality of the act. So he said it was not even, did you know, no, already the structure is that they have incorporated some of these things in their curriculum. Mm. But he then go, he now goes on to say that teachers are now taking extra time that That's outside of the, you understand, the normal mm. class time, they take out time to now sit the children down, you know, to explain this uh, and teach them choice. how you can become either a particular sex or you can identify mm. as a non-binary. Let me hear your thoughts, Elsie. <laughs> We're never born. <laughs> we know. <laughs> so let's just put the disclaimer out there. <laughs> you know, so I, I can't relate. <laughs> but uh, uh, so this is saying it's not the first time I've heard about it. Mm. I mean, it's there was a time to an outrage um, was pouring. Um, I think there was even this um, school textbooks now, a whole set of textbooks mm. that is actually for. When you have A for Apple, B for Baby, there is, there is this um, alphabet people, like you call them, <laughs> um, A, what's that thing called now? The sexual. No, no, the A to Z, what's, I think there's a name it's called. Like a is it Apple. the LGBTQ? No, no, no. Okay. You know what you have A for, you know we have A for Apple mm -hmm. now? Yes, yes, yes. Now. Mm -hmm. So there is a version. For, for alphabet? Yes. Really? That it will tell it deals you deals with sexuality. I think they call it A to Z of um the anatomy? sexuality not even sexuality now they are there's a, a term they use in their world right mm. so there is that yes mm. and they use it in schools like they use it to teach them now so what he's saying is not new um mm. but like you said you're mentioning biology and this is what we're thought but it's also interesting to note that Biology is science, yeah? Yes. Most of these things and the laws they've put in place that is making them very bold to do what they want to do mm -hmm. based on human rights is also being backed by science, mm. Mm. right? Mm -hmm. So a lot of them have found ways or have researched and felt that this is working. And there's something I say, especially for those who want to outrightly say, I mean, I'm neither here nor there, mm. right? But for those who want to outright say, oh, they want to, I'm no longer feeling, I, I, I'm, like I, a guy. I don't identify as a, as a, a woman, I identify as a man, but now woman with this seat. <laughs> now, they've even gone to, I don't identify as a human being, now I identify as a cat. Hmm. I forgot the one that entered bush that they shot. As an, ant <laughs> as an antelope. You know? So, I, I, I feel like we, we got it wrong now globally when we started um, giving surgery or allowing surgery and transition to people that actually need um, mental health counseling, like mm. they needed spiritual psychological help. rehabilitation, <laughs> but they needed psychological, you know, help and um, realignment and helping them understand who they are and mm -hmm. just come to be. Instead, self. we gave, them, we option. gave them option, of, you know. So, um, but for me, I mean, I know that this is not leaving us. Mm -hmm. The real question for me, which is what I think Williams was trying to say, is. Um, parenting skills has to now go a notch higher. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, you ask the question, are we, are we raising a confused or a free generation? I think the real thing is, the parents are even confused. Mm. Because me, I am confused. Like <laughs> you said, you come out today, you say you are a she. Tomorrow you say, there's I'm a woman in Nigeria that says she identifies as a banjo. Oh. Right? So, it is, it, there are different things in and I would like to respect them. But when it comes to parenting and raising children, I mean, I'm saying I've not raised, but who knows tomorrow, right? And if you're now in that space, I think it's important for you to have open conversations. Mm. It's important for you to be very open and um, also let them know that, yes, this is what it used to be. This is what it is now. These are the consequences. Mm -hmm. This is what can happen to you. Because if you go to YouTube as well, even the social media that we're talking about, there is a lot of video of people mm -hmm. that have actually regretted their oh, transition. Yes. Yes. I don't know if you've come across Of course, I've seen it. There is many. And the interesting thing is this mob, I like to call them mob because of your attitude. Because if I can't have a civil conversation with you, then I'm sorry, you're a mob. Hmm. No matter what you identify with, it's not my problem. Hmm. I don't care what you do with your body. I don't care how you want to identify 
right? But if we cannot ask simple questions, did you see the video mm, of the upset. senator in the US that was just trying to ask the lady a simple question regarding the bill she was passing around? Is it um, um, something that has to do with women and birth? And she got so touchy and, and said, define what a woman is or and something like that. that. You're sending an attack. Mm. Well, you know, so when you cannot have a proper conversation, a decent, a decent conversation. conversation, then you are a mob. So you also see that when those people come out to talk about their challenges in the transition, mm. that could also they attack serve them as a tool for us to be able to show a child or a teenager that mm -hmm. is thinking that way to say this is what can happen. They only want to you show know, the beautiful part. They come against them and shut them down. Some of them even go as far as I'm, I'm committing suicide. Mm -hmm. You know, so there needs to also be people who will do and some more genuine research absolutely. on that angle as well. Absolutely. Put it out there because we are here, my sister. Absolutely. We are you not know, going we are. You know, Elsie, you raised the most important point, you know, that I was really hoping that we will get to today. Mm -hmm. It is that you have given me your options. Mm -hmm. Can you allow me? Have my own options. Can you allow me that freedom yeah. as well? You're the one preaching freedom, right? Mm -hmm. Allow me that freedom. But no matter how you to brainwashing you. means. Yes. Mm -hmm. it, that is the part that beats my imagination. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'll come back to you, Norma. Let's just go on a very short break. When we come back, we'll continue the conversation. Stay with us. All right, thanks for staying with us now. If you are just tuned in, it's our ladies' night out. And our focus tonight, we are asking this question, are we raising a confused or a free generation? Now, this is coming off of the back of a video that we found uh, from comedian and um, actor Williams Ochemba. Now, please, let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 803 You can also tweet at us at Wayshow Africa World with the hashtag Wayshow. All right, um, the phone line is now open. The number to call is 0702500 That's the number to call. Remember the rules, turn off the volume of your television set. So, Noma, let me hear your thoughts quickly. All right, uh, I, I totally agree with the conversation so far because parenting is a very, very critical aspect of the development and growth of a child and if gotten wrong it can either form the child for for what will like of to go down you can set up the child for disaster or mar them exactly, for life mar them for life or it can if gotten right mm. can make that individual significant in society absolutely so when we bring it to what we're discussing which is raising whether we're raising a confused generation or a free generation i would say both that those who still hold on to the old principles who believe that those people and, and some of us are a product of of that mm -hmm. where there was discipline there was um morals mm -hmm. um godliness whatever you call it spirituality let me put it that way played a significant role in determining for some of us what is right or wrong so that even when we grew up and became independent we went to school and all of that we found ourselves making decisions we didn't have to wait for our parents because of the guidance that mm -hmm. we had we were able to make decisions when the time came we knew who we but we gradually started learning who we are as people mm -hmm. and continued in that light now you also have those who grew up in settings that were not stable and didn't help to form them properly mm -hmm. so growing up they decided you know what i'm going to be either open-minded or free or embrace whatever freedom mm -hmm. so so to speak in my thinking and in my raising of my kids and all of that good enough we've already hit that part where we all have a choice mm -hmm how we decide to end up how who we become we each have that choice eventually and a lot of people in this i mean the times have changed i will <laughs> i don't want to go all spiritual but whether we believe it or not like some of us bible believing individuals mm -hmm. the times the the end of age mm -hmm. <laughs> we're gradually getting to that point where a lot of things are different from where we what we used to know mm. and um the times are end, are coming end gradually time, to an end, end time experiences right <laughs> so people are becoming uh, some of those things when we read in the bible we see some of the fulfillment of prophecy and mm -hmm. all of that so we know and 
some people become even more conscious in their engagement with their children to continue yes. to teach them principles that guide them through these confusing waters, mm. so to speak. While some people have decided that it's their choice and to embrace me. the times. Okay. Mm. But let me bring it uh, a, a little bit uh, further. It is important because where I'm concerned is the child. Mm. The child in a formative, the child's formative stages, that period is that period where they are, they are not considered to have the intelligence to make the right decision. I think it's up to 21 or so, mm -hmm. uh, thereabout. Research has it so. Mm. So when you start giving a child mm. the, the choice, the opportunity to make life-changing choices mm. when they are not biologically ready. Mm. I have very a dangerous. very huge challenge with that. Mm. I had a friend, classmate, who is a teacher in the UK. And every now and then, she releases to us what Curricula. is going on. Mm. Mm. And in the current that she was told, she said, this is what we were told to teach children. Mm. And it has all of those things. And I'm wondering, how can a seven-year-old child make a decision about their body and about they want, the way they want to turn out decisively now only to come up at 21 to regret it it's just like telling a child to go have children now when they are the uh, their children <laughs> themselves so it is very disturbing to know that schools are encouraging teachers to open whether you it's are saying is school. your choice is the government some, choice, no some schools government whatever government you call it the laws and then they go people and pass those laws yes hmm. government is the people and it's people that have chosen to say oh our children are oh they can make choices for themselves you know you know it's interesting what norma is saying because i i know in psychology they yeah. say that a child is born called with a clean slate it's called tabula rasa so when a child is born is blank mm. everything that you see a child Do the product are. of the adult that you see mm. it's so what was behavior thank you there's nothing that child comes and that's why babies are innocent mm. do you understand you see a baby the baby is innocent every character every attribute whatever you see that child display mm. you know when they start to get that awareness it's what they learn it is what has been taught programmed them. it has been programmed in their system and that's why we always say that when you're raising a child, put the child in a loving environment, put the child in a what's it called? It's, 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 yes, a protective environment. Yes. So you that you're supposed to be the adult, you now wake up and now take this child to the side and keep telling this child you're a goat. You're a goat every day. You keep telling the child you're a goat. The child wakes up one morning, looks at the mirror, and the child says, I'm a goat. Because the child begins to see a goat. Haven't you seen children understand? raised by animals? So this is something that is really worrisome for me. Yeah. And I, 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 I beg all these people in God's name. Yeah. Can you people allow other people that have chosen that this is how I was formed in my mother's womb and I want to remain so? Can you let us also have peace? Because now it's like a war. You can't come out like Elsie rightly said. You know, you can't have a conversation. It is fight. It is war. I mean, I was talking to my sons the other day mm -hmm. and they said, mommy, in fact, right now, before we marry any girl, I will ask you, what was your sex at birth? That's yes, how, of course. how bad we my teenagers to... already know this. I need they want to it. ask, what was your... So, because now, you, it is... So I, will, I will sue you. you want if I marry you as a woman and wrong. find out that you were a man before. No, I want you tell them to disclose that part before everyone entered a relationship no, with anyone. They will tell you, no, it's, that it's why do you not, want to... their right. Why, no, it's saying, love me for who I am. I said, because who are you? Because you, you don't even know who you I are. I saw a video... So how am I supposed to love you for who you are? <laughs> Elsie, I saw a video on Lee Naikeji's blog two days ago, was even yesterday. A beautiful girl. Honestly speaking, I won't lie. The man is handsome. But she said, he said, oh, this person wanted to die. That was the caption on the mm. video. Mm. And I killed her. Mm. So, they, so he did a transitioning as a man. And that says, yeah. I, I killed her because she, she, she wanted to die and I so killed her. So I saw her. that video. That was him in the Him! Past. That was him as a woman. I didn't even understand the video. I watched the video like 10 times before oh, I got wow. the message. That she wanted to die. From oh, from yes. Man to woman. But you see, that one is an adult. His head is he's okay. It's his problem. Well, when you won't let people oh, wow. join the army at the age of four, you won't let them drive. You won't let them vote. drink alcohol. You won't let, you them, won't vote. let them vote. You won't let them travel unaccompanied. 
but you are letting them make a decision that will on change their agenda. lives. And another, it's an agenda that I sorry, and it's been told many times. That if you read or you watch documentaries about conspiracy theories, you find a lot of the things that have been purported manifesting. Whether or not you believe in conspiracy theories, mm. you find that they tell you that there's an agenda mm. by a certain group of people to change the world, reduce population. You know when COVID came out that they said that was what they were planning to mm. do, that they will come up with diseases to reduce population. Okay. They will try and change your agenda and it's a... It's, it's an agenda. Let me take a call. I'm sorry, we've been losing calls. Go, mm. Okay. Hi, thank you for calling. Hello? Hello? Yes, yeah. go ahead. You're live. Good evening. Okay, so, um, first of all, good evening, ladies. Hi, good evening. Uh, I just tuned in and I'm actually enjoying the conversation. Thank you. First of all, I want to say from a biblical point, from the beginning, it wasn't so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot of things that are happening now, uh, I'll put it on, the, on, on this generation, first of all, and the generation be, before us, because we began to talk about this concept of freedom that uh, exempts us from any form of responsibility. Mm. Yeah, and that is the foundation of everything we're seeing now. Mm. Now, if you see, uh, we, we're, we're saying children are born with a clean slate, mm -hmm. definitely everything we're, that, that is going on now is programming. Mm. Yes. The teachers in school have no right to impose anything on any child. Yeah, and parents at home too should also impose their own um, preferences on their children. Don't don't talk, talk to my children in this way. Don't teach my children these things. And let that be. We cannot again in isolation teach, say, say, okay, I'll, I'll teach my, my child uh, the ways of the Bible, mm -hmm. and that's it. You're sending these children to school. They are open to that type of informal learning from friends, from school, and all that. It's, it's kind of hard. That's, for me, that's where, that's where the, the, the problem, the challenge lies. How do you, amidst all this chaos and conundrum, get your child to Thank you. behave how God had, uh, has intended them to behave Thank according so to God's much. programming. Man is man to me, woman is woman. Any other thing is the devil. Mm. Mm. Okay. Then again, okay. because we were, for Africans at least, because um, Christianity was introduced to us, we, and we have um, gone further than the person that even introduced it to us we we have taken it with our chest as if it was our religion in the first place i can't always say let's quote what the bible said hmm. when we were growing up as africans even though the research may say differently what does it take to multiply to bring about a new life into the world x chromosome y chromosome man and woman yes if that is what it takes, because somebody said it in a comedic um, stand-up um, thing. He said if our creation, if they want to claim that being gay is some, a feeling that you have from a chemical whatever in your mind, that how come we don't find all animals being gay as well? Because they're also creation. As in a cock jumping on a cock, a horse jumping on a horse, a cow do you understand? I have seen a dog humping on a male dog because there was no female dog available. And that one was just on heat. Mm. But they're saying based on studies that they haven't seen it happen with so animals. if animals cannot do if it. If animals are not doing it, what are we lesser, claiming lesser, that we're seeing? Lesser, lesser yeah, yeah, like animal. he said, that word programming was a word I had been looking for. Mm. There's a pro silent, I mean, it's hidden in plain sight mm. is what they do. You go into the stores, you watch cartoons. You watch, you listen to programs. They're already making it seem as if it's mainstream mm. and it's totally acceptable. So it starts encouraging boys to. When we were younger, you couldn't come as a boy and be carrying Barbie doll all over the place. They will ask you, where ah, go and 
play football, my friend. <laughs> you know? So, but but I, I can I... Let, okay. Let, let, let yeah. us yeah. 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 I just want to mention, I mean, you know how there are, in the US right now, there are political parties. I mean, there are two major political parties that are based on ideologies, right? Mm -hmm. You know, what, what, what are the two names again? The um, Democrats and, Democrat and Republicans. Republicans. Maybe we also need to begin to have schools that are... Um, driven by ideology as well, right? Absolutely. Every other part can be equal in terms of um, the proper education, science, technology, whatever. So let the part of but moral. when it comes to moral, mm -hmm. then I'm, I'll, I'll choose the school my child will go to based on the ideology they have decided to adopt. Yes. Because I don't buy the idea of forcing everyone to, to accept, to access this lifestyle. that lifestyle. So if I if I tell my child something else at home, when a child gets to school, you are telling the child something else. So that's confusion. That is already. also infringing on so my I, rights. I think we as also, a parent. And again, these things happen for the longest of time and have eaten so deep because we, well, those that are not exactly with that school of thought, we're not speaking. Mm. We're in pain it was. Well. Let's just leave them. Mm. Let's just leave them. That's how we left them. Left them. Left them. They have gotten the policy that they needed and everything. Well, all right and good, but I think we also need to Absolutely. very sincerely God, begin the policy to have schools God, so that are, the way we had Catholic schools. I mean, you know yeah. what to expect yes. when you go to a, Catholic, a missionary school, right? Mm -hmm. You know what to expect when you go to a, an Islamic school, right? Mm -hmm. Let's also have schools I mean, that are ideology driven. So <laughs> if my child is coming to this school, it's because the school has told me that this is what the ideology is. Yes. I had oh, a, no. I had. I had an, um, a stinch uh, time in an Islamic school. Mm -hmm. it's a, it, was, it was owned by an imam, mm -hmm. Sheikh Abaka Gumi College. Mm. Owned by an imam. My parents knew that it was an Islamic school. Everything. Mm -hmm. My friend, Moenke, attended a, a purely Catholic school all through. Mm -hmm. You know? So I'm saying that if I'm going into that school, I love what you're saying. I mean, it's just you making a lot of sense. You already know. So I had to conform so to them. To that point. I had to conform to them. So the school I was used to was that we would pray Christian prayer, Muslim prayer. When I went to this Islamic school, it was purely Islamic prayer. Yeah, because and we are good. Everybody's fine. Like that program. did not change my belief. It didn't change my religion. It didn't change anything. It only gave me even, in, in fact, it gave me perspective and it gave me the ability to understand the other person's culture. religion. Yes. So okay. that's why I'm, I can accommodate any religion. Do you understand? Mm. It's because I have been exposed to those kind of religion. That is a different thing. From programming me, mm. from a child, to begin to think like I am a man. Mm. The way I, I, I grew up, no matter, if I was in a different climate, I would have been a boy. By now, I'll say, no, 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 no. I don't identify yeah. with them because the, my energy is too much. Mm. Do you understand? Very I'm too masculine in my in my yeah. in my approach to things. And I think just boy, to, to to add it, I I grew up I as grew up in, as a, as a tomboy. I know I was a, a lot a of the things I still do, you know, I still have those uh, strong so I'm the only uh, abilities, on oh. right? <laughs> but the point being that intentional parenting it's is important. very very yeah. important. And I think that was what Williams, uh, was, Williams was trying to you know what, hold up. draw uh, attention. No, please hold your thoughts. I'll come back to you, um, Loma. Oh, we've been losing calls. You're live. Uh, good evening, my young sister in the house. Hi, good evening. Uh, we are full here, you know. No one has your case. Um, <laughs> see, looking at this topic, I wonder if we have to use for the rest So long as those that have this sanity, the parents does not go back for that by that word that says, rent up a child. In a way, give food. When he is old, he will not give back. Mm -hmm. Now, parents allow their children to have just give reward. They don't even come and go to the family. They don't even check them. You know, have to see sometimes. Mm -hmm. You will see that children who you think they are within the house before you know it, prostitution happens. But when they come to me, they become holy angels. So, what I'm just saying is that it is because of parents and some of these boarding schools these days, if they tell you what else, the school about, they say this is their school, this is boys' school, if they do the atrocities that are happening in these days, and they stop me when they civilization, people decided to, let me not take up here in Africa. He said it to borrow something from you, a Western world, mm. and bring it here. And that is affecting our people, our future. So, what I really want to say is we really want to protect a 
address of the children that will stand in the of time. If we have to go back to that particular value, yeah. Islamic one will go back to that. And read what is said, because I know both Christianity and Islam teaches moral value for our children. Oh, and when so. our parents go back to it, and we return back to the right thing, before you know it, you will raise up children that proud. Thank you. Okay, no, no. Uh, yeah, you want to quickly I wrap was, up your thought? Yeah, yes. I was I was talking about intentional parenting. That it's important for our parents to pay attention. Mm -hmm. We as parents to mm -hmm. pay attention. For me, I if you ask me, I don't have a problem with children, especially like with toys. Mm -hmm. Playing mm -hmm. that you, you play, play with you can play with anything. Mm -hmm. It does not. But you should be able to be there to answer questions where children because children are great, and that's where I have this concern children are yet to be formed so you must be there to be able to and the generation that they live in there's a lot of curiosity going on so you must be hands-on with information that helps mm. children to understand that the world that they live in is different it may come at them in school and all the if they are able to come back and ask the questions then you can explain based on your values mm. based on your principles I tell my children in this house mm -hmm. This is how we do things. Mm -hmm. This is what we believe. This mm. is what we stand for. Mm. And we must be able to do that for, uh, for the children. Let me take Lola quickly. Okay. okay. <laughs> we run out of time. Lola, you're live. Quickly. Yahaya. Oh, sorry. Yahaya, you're live. Is he there? Okay, I think I was going to say parents would want to cop out and say, oh, parenting didn't come with a manual. It didn't come with a manual, but you were raised a certain way. Mm. And there are certain ways that they raised you that you didn't agree with that you decided to do better. When you know better, you do better. But when it comes to, we're not just talking about the sexuality and the fluidity. It's even giving children too much freedom mm -hmm. to make choices. We see the likes of Will Smith and Jada Smith saying, oh, they are raising ki their kids to be free-thinking individuals. Mm. And the free see thinking where it has led It will lead you somewhere. And then you will now, as they say, when they say... Um, your boss will say, mark by me, mark by me, meaning, ah, this child don't kill me, you are still fretting. When it gets to a point, they will say, look, don't kill yourself. It's you and you, you have your choice because at the end of the day, one coffin only no fits one person. You know, he said three things. He said that the child is supposed Skills, to be taught the intellect, hand, the and, head, um, and the heart. And character. You know, so I think what, you know, we need to focus on is all three. Mm. Make, making a centered child. So while we're teaching them coding, Balance. we're teaching them education, getting their intellects Rural up, values, we, must important, we, we must know that what is important that would tie all of those things up would be the character of that child. Mm -hmm. But I think we are back with Yahaya. Quickly, you have like a, a minute to, to, to talk. Yahaya, you're live. So let's take okay, he's missed. Okay. okay, let me quickly take this from Tsunami's. Uh -oh. Go ahead, you're live. Yeah, 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 it's not connected. Yeah, yeah. yeah, go ahead, you're live. You have like a second to go. Mm -hmm. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, please speak. I, I don't think you can hear us. Okay, so good evening, my... Oh. Not yeah. Mm -hmm. Good evening, my beautiful ladies. This is a very heartbreaking topic for me. Biology, physiology, and nature have chosen the child's sex. Mm -hmm. These are fresh and naive minds that are being corrupted and warped at very at a very impressionable age. Mm -hmm. It is wicked and demonic to eat into the mental fabric of children like that without a choice. When I see these same-sex parents, I wonder what they fill the children's minds with. The so-called cross-dressers should not be encouraged. Mm. God help us. Mm. This God is from Tsunami. Go ahead. Help okay. us. Oh, we have Daniel as usual, and I hope it's not a long guessing. You just, cut it. <laughs> just cut it into two. <laughs> he said, um, are we raising a confused or free generation? My dear beautiful sister, Nyoma said it all. We are raising both. What they learn in schools will determine if they are well raised. Parents should be very careful concerning what they tell their children because there is an after effect. The child or children will end up being what you have told him or her, whether good or bad. The problem is that there are two different influences. Mm. You teach your child something, school influences something else. And you find out that most of their waking hours are spent in school. Mm. Go ahead. Um, the power of good moral radiance beyond um, acceptable norms, but today advancements make 
modern parents think children should enjoy absolute freedom, which never exists in this contemporary, contemporary world. Mm. Parents instill good character to their children. Okay, thank Happy you. Happy birthday, Norma. That is <laughs> from you. Grandma in Kaduna. All right, thank you so much, ladies. I think we had a fantastic conversation. Mm -hmm. You know, someone sent me a, a, a message on that saying that on Friday mm -hmm. that um, Nickelodeon was going to effect a particular cartoon that would uh, would be showing gay couple. Mm -hmm. So these things that you talk about, there is intentionality on the mm -hmm. other side. Absolutely. In, in, in painting. Absolutely. And in, ingraining these things and we their, must be intentional too. yes in their subconscious so please if you know that you do not subscribe to this you also have to have Nickelodeon that does not happen in right, we have to go. thank you so much ladies now um before we go ensure you follow us on instagram tiktok twitter everywhere we show africa you can interact with us further drop a comment and more importantly follow all our engagements on social media like share and invite your families and friends to watch and follow the conversation now if you missed today's quote here it is again Parenting is a lifetime job mm -hmm. and does not stop when a child grows up. We'll mm -hmm. see you guys live at 8 p.m. tomorrow. Happy birthday, Norma! <laughs> <laughs>